Welcome to my Trail Lenny's HD Beginner's Guide. Along with that, we're going to be teaching you how to take off land uh, and just how to fly the aircraft. I'll go over weapons in another video. Uh, so, uh, we'll just go over this. This is how you load your um, missiles. You can load tanks too, but I'm not going to load any tanks. Um, this is how you turn up or down your fuel. Now, uh, you guys probably already know this. This is spawn drones. So spawn group drones is BVR. Spawn single drone is just a dogfight drone. Uh, however, it's always this one is the spawn single drone is always turned on. Um, so let's put this to full. Um, so at full capacity, you probably shouldn't try to land the aircraft um, because at slow speeds the aircraft will perform very very poorly. However, I'm gonna go over this just for the. Uh, takeoff and landing so first we're going to do takeoff uh, from the carrier so uh we're just going to line put on the catapult uh you can spawn on the catapult by pressing the uh, number one catapult thing so now you're going to push it all the way to full afterburner now in the tomcat you might not want to push it all the way to full afterburner wait for it to school you hear that like a exploding noise and there we go, we're an afterburner, we put the lock. You want to pull up a little bit, get a little bit, just check my uh, thing. And then roll right, just in, if you're trying to be realistic. And then bring up your flaps with flaps. And then bring up gear with the uh, gear down button. And then hook is for uh, your legs. Like Uh, now I'm going to teach you guys uh, just regular takeoffs. I probably should have stayed on that map. Uh, but Naval Air Station doesn't have any carriers. So uh, you can either do afterburner or no afterburner. Personally, I like doing it without afterburner because it's more smooth. So at about 120 knots, you just start rotating. So about 120. Give it a little bit of a back stick. I like giving it like half back stick. So gear up, and then you're gonna bring up your flaps. Too low. Once your Too flaps ring. are up, you can uh, put it in your burner if you want. But I don't really like doing that. Um, so now we go over regular flying. Just flying it regularly. Now let's get used to flying there, I guess. Uh, just do some aerobatics, however you want. Might want to learn how to fly the aircraft a little bit smoother. Like, it's not hard to do, but it's more, a lot more fun to fly with a uh, very more precise way of flying than you know doing air rolls and loops all over the place. It's a lot more fun. Uh, I'm gonna go over the navigation. So um, now we're gonna go to H H. Go into here, that can you can turn on your FCR, which is your radar, then you can turn on HSI, and then you can jettison from here. Um, I think you can jettison AMRAMs and stuff. So, basically, you'll see your uh, ILS uh, thing. It's this little triangle. Let me... Okay, but that little triangle uh, that you see is your ILS. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to line up on if you're trying to land the aircraft, or if you're trying to come back to your um, uh, base. And then that's also on the heads-up display. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that shows your S up up on the top left is your estimated time to the uh, to the place. Above that is the heading. which it goes by pretty slow. Um, and then you have, you know, your estimated time to it. There's a lot of stuff. And then you also have your heading on the bottom right. I think that other heading is the uh, heading that you have away from it or something. I don't know. I'll have to see. But uh, now we're going to go over landing. Now we're going to do landing on the carrier landing in a uh, just landing on the runway. So we're just going to go into sand mark us. So start in uh, carrier group, and then, uh, actually no, you should probably try and land, uh, go on airport final. Now, 
uh, pause right here. Well, uh, I can't really pause it, but you know what, right there. So, the line, um, the line that goes across your, uh, vector, uh, your, uh, path vector is, um, your, uh, angle, not your angle of attack, that's your, um, glide slope. So, you want that line to be crossed with your wing, uh, rep your representation of your wings. Your center line is, uh, that a lot that uh, long uh, other line that's on it and then your AOA is on the left which is that the E bracket and you want to put the the uh, uh, what is it um, you want to put the wing of the a uh, path vector right on the uh, E so like show let me show you like that pretty much that's what it should look like now we're going to land on a carrier it's going to be the same thing but this time i'll, I'll uh... so when it's good it's going to look like this complete x you want it to keep that x like that but you also want to keep your aoa on um you want to keep everything in an x okay so if you start losing it just correct it and there's also a meatball right there that you can reference, but really I like doing it with the uh, uh, HUD. Now it doesn't have to be a very good landing, remember? Uh, carrier landings are about getting on the carrier, not how good you're landing. Um, um, you know, be nice. Okay, that was bad landing, uh, because I landed too hard. So, uh, we're gonna retry it. So, like I said before, X, uh, make sure to keep the X. X with the knee, X with the knee, so that's what it looks like. Uh, it's power for, uh, pitch for speed and power for altitude is a really good rule of thumb. However, if you do start stalling, uh, get out of that state and, uh, do, just, you know, do what you can to recover from it. Like right now I'm doing... That goes with both uh, carrier landings and uh, um, and uh, what is it called? Airport landings. So, now I'm gonna have, to, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, now I have to edit this. However, um, there's multiple different aircraft and I'm just gonna go over them very quickly. Uh, just like fairly quickly, but I'll leave uh, after this, if you buy any of these aircraft, I'll put a guide for them. So the F-14 Tomcat, really good. It's an F-14D, so don't expect a cool, cool, cool cockpit. Uh, it's still a pretty cool com cockpit. It's still very good for screenshots. Uh, F-22 Raptor, very. it's pretty hard to control, um, but it's very fun to do tricks in. Uh, same with the J-15, F-18D and C are basically the same, except F-18D is just a different outer skin. A7 is a very good one for VFR. It's very, very good. Uh, it's a very fun aircraft just to fly, but it has no weapons. So let me demonstrate that. So basically, it's very much IFR based. Uh, you know, like you have to, you know, use the instruments down here. Uh, however, uh, no. So this bottom number is kind of it. But the instruments are very bad in the HUD, so. Just bear with that if you want to fly this aircraft. Other than that, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Now I have to edit this. Goodbye.